Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 103. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 101 to 111. Hey, number 103 here, YouTuber asked about goal seek. Goal seek. In Excel 2003, you go to Tools and then Goal Seek. In 2007, you go to Data. And then way over here to uh, What If Analysis and click the drop down. It's giving me a little blank there. It's giving me a little blank there. The data. And then uh, right here, Goal Seek. There it is right there. Now, the, what does Goal Seek do? You have a, a formula result here. I'm going to hit the F2 key. Notice there's a bunch of cell references. Now, what I'd like to do is in, I would like, I only have uh, $3,000 that I can spend a month. So I want to change the house price. Now, I could just go back and forth. You know, I could type uh, 150000 here. Oh, that's way below. And then I go to 450000 so I'm actually iterating back and forth. I'm going low, high, low, high. And I could zero in on a value. Well, you don't have to do that because Goal Seek does that for you. You click on the cell with the formula. And there's one important thing that must be true in order to use Goal Seek. Hit F2. This must be a formula. And secondarily, the number you want to change but must be used as an input in this formula. But wait a second. Look, I'm doing range finder right now. I don't see that cell highlight. I can see that, 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 and that are all being used by this formula, which is the PMT function. But wait a second. See this uh, C8 right here? I'm going to click Escape. Go up to C8. I'm going to click F2. Ah. There it is. It is being used indirectly. So even though this, for, this cell reference here is being used by that, because this formula here is using that, this will work. So you click in the cell, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut that works all, uh, everywhere. Remember, data here, or uh, tools, uh, goal seat, alt tg. Alt TG. That's an old keyboard shortcut. It means Tools Menu Goal Seek. And it's shorter than the one in uh, 2007. Now look at that Goal Seek. There's Set Cell to Value and By Changing Cell. Very simple construction here. There, Set Cell says, hey, there's a formula in that cell. What do we want to change the result to? Hey, I said $3,000. So you just type it in. You have to type it in. And then by changing, this has to be a number. That is a number typed into the cell. It cannot be a formula. If it's a formula, it'll go and tell you it doesn't work. By changing what? And I'm going to click on that cell right there. Remember, it's got to be a number. And then click OK. Now you have the option right here of uh, clicking OK or clicking Cancel. I'm going to click OK. There it is, 3,000. I can go out and buy a house. Uh, but my limit is uh, 326,320, et cetera. And in the year 2008, if we were originally looking for a $500,000 house a year ago, we can probably find one in our housing crunch for something like that. So that's how to use Goal Seek. Formula, number input. You want a result here by changing a number input. All right, see you next trick.